All right, welcome to lesson 14, the next to last lesson here today. You're going to add the tunnel slide and the spiral slide to your final assembly. And the next time we meet, we'll add the crayon poles to the top and you'll be finished. So we'll go up here to iPro and open your final assembly. Now, of course, I can't open this one because I've already finished it. So I'm going to go back to the one we left off with the other day. So when you open your final assembly, you should have something like this, the monkey bars, main platform, tri-platform, and wall climb. So we're going to add the two slides. So click place in the upper left corner. Find your spiral slide. Place it over here on the left. And place your tunnel slide on the right. All right. Now each of these are going to require three constraints, two mates and a flush here, two mates and a tangent constraint here. So we're going to go to constrain and we're going to mate this square face right here. You may have to zoom in pretty close there, get the square face and you're going to mate that to the side of the platform. Click apply. Now this one's a little tricky because you're going to want to mate the very bottom edge of this slide to the bottom edge of the platform. So you may have to go to the bottom of your view cube down here kind of rotate things around so you can get a good angle at it there. Now you may have to zoom in with your mouse. There's the very bottom of the tunnel slide. See how far zoomed in I am? Click on the bottom edge of the tunnel slide and the bottom edge of the platform. Click apply. That'll put those even with each other. Now we want to flush the side of the tunnel slide to the side of the platform and offset 18 inches so that it is centered up. And now a kid can walk right here, slide down the slide, and there they go. Alright, now this one over here is a little bit more tricky. Uh, we made it easier on you this year by making the, the gap in the slide bigger. Last year's class had a very small uh, gap right here. Uh, I think you guys made it 26. There's 26 inches. There's 18 and it made it a lot more difficult. So this is not as hard as it used to be. Make sure you're on mate. You may have to rotate around here. Get the uh, side of the platform here, or face of the uh, spiral slide. Face of the spiral slide and mate it to the side of the platform. Hit apply. Now, you're going to mate the top edge, just this little bitty sliver right here. Click it. And the top face of the platform. And you're going to offset that. 11 inches. Oops, that should bring it up a little bit there. Hit apply. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. You're going to go to tangent constraint, which is your third option. And you're going to switch it over here to outside. You want to get the cursor to where the arrow is pointing out straight to the right from the slide and then out to the left from the side of the platform. And that will wrap it around the pole there. Click apply. And there, yep, the pole goes all the way through, doesn't touch the slide. So there is your playground. Only thing left to do is to put the crayon poles around there. I'm going to back it up just a second, show you that tangent strain again. But if you got that completed, then save this hit save, I pro, click save because you've already called it playground final assembly. And that's it. Back this up real quick though and show you that tangent constraint one more time. Constraint, tangent, make sure you're on the outside. Click the right side of the view cube. You want to point your cursor out here to the edge, get the arrow pointing out to the right. Then zoom in here on the side of the platform, arrow pointing out to the left. Click apply. There you have it. Make sure you save it before you close it out. 